Hello, Chantel and Kevin. I'm going to walk us quickly through the digital model that we created to generate this image. Um, taking us to the digital model. This is actually the perspective that we used um, as the background for that sketch. And I'm going to take us quickly to the aerial. We've got shadows that we're turning on and off. We can actually um, pick any, any day of the year, any time of day, and test what the sun is doing um, with this digital model, which, is, which will be increasingly useful as we get deeper into the project. Um, here we're looking on the west side of the building and actually let me orbit us around a little bit. Um, our thinking here was we have this breezeway on the interior that pokes out to, on the west side to create an entry moment. Um, we've toyed with the idea of, of making this slightly larger. What we're doing with these apertures, each one announces um, uh, an individual space or a moment within a larger space um, whether this is restaurant or retail, each of these would frame particular views. And again, we're very early on in the process, so it's really just um, finding the general form of the building. Um, but one thought was that there would be um, a glass corner, um, and this would be a very um, activating piece of program at the corner here. Um, we've been working on the landscape plan. In the landscape plan, we have a large tree. We're seeing a vitex potentially here. Um, with a sitting circle and then beyond that is um, desert grass that, that runs up and down along the main street to create a buffer between um, the street beyond and this this inner world. I've just ran us into the courtyard here and here you get an idea of what this space feels like um, looking across to Whitfield and the train tracks are just beyond this this short wall here. This would be our primary courtyard space and then pulling around this would be the view from Whitfield across the tracks and then pulling us back around to the main entry side of the building so we look forward to your thoughts on this thank you